we basically is best friends right now. So I'm gonna check you when you, you know, you are doing too much. Or you know somebody that's doing too much and they need a little help toning that down. Watch this video, <laughs> cause it's for you, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Fuck it. Back to my channel my name is ella rose and sometimes we be doing too much okay we be doing the most i'm guilty i'm 100 guilty again y'all know i'm gonna tell y'all how it is keep it real especially when it comes to me and my own life and my decisions and stuff sometimes i'll be doing too damn much okay i've done it before i do it still to this day sometimes when i be forgetting but i'm here to tell you that you doing too much, okay? <laughs> I don't know y'all personally, I don't know y'all situation, but if you do any of these four things right now, honey, you doing too much and you're gonna probably have to tone it down a little bit, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so the first sign, the first sign that you are doing way too much is if you always, always talking about what the other person don't or is not doing, okay? I am 100% completely guilty. I got slapped in the, not slapped in the face, like literally, but like figuratively speaking, I got like slapped in the face with somebody who told me I did this way too much. And it was something I didn't even notice that I was doing. So they had to check me and I'm here to check you, okay? Nobody likes to hear that, nobody. So whether you're right or wrong, Either way, it doesn't matter. When you continue to tell somebody all the time, over and over again, what they're not doing, what they're not doing, what they're not doing, what they're not doing, what they can't do, what they can't do, what they can't do, what they can do, and they're not doing, you know? If you tell somebody over and over again, like just think of it like as a child, like would you tell a child over and over again what they're not doing right, over and over and over again? No, you know, you would tell them what they're not doing, how, what they're, well, first, you would start with what they do great. And then you'd go into their problem area. And then you would help them on how to fix it. Because, you know, you can really hurt a kid's feelings, you know? Scar them for the rest of their life. That's how you have to approach every situation. If, you know, people don't want to think about it, but people's feelings be getting hurt, okay? And even if, you know, if, if you don't think that they are, or even if it's not coming from, like, a malicious place, um, because for me, it wasn't. I wasn't trying to be malicious. I wasn't trying to hurt nobody's feelings. Um, but... It happens, you know, we're human. So if you keep attacking somebody, they're going to get defensive. So if you keep telling somebody what they're not doing over and over again, it's not going to make them want to do it. Point blank, period. It's not going to make me want to do it. If you keep telling me how I don't, um, how, I don't know, let's say I don't, somebody try to tell me, Figuratively speaking, because I do cook. But if somebody told me, like, I never cook, I never cook for them, I never cook, oh, da, 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 I never cook for them. Is that gonna make me wanna cook? Nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out my way not to cook. Because you making me feel some type of way about it. I don't know, it's just the delivery and the thing. So if you continue to tell somebody what they are not doing for you, you doing too much. You're doing way too entirely too much and you need to calm it down, okay? Think about it. <laughs> Just think about it for a second. What is, what is it that they're not doing? Can you do this for yourself? <laughs> and if not, if this is something that you do want your partner to do and it's something that they should be doing, then you need to calmly put yourself together and have a conversation with them about it. And don't attack nobody. Because when did, when, whenever can you think of a time where you attack somebody about something and it worked out good in your favor? Comment down below if that happened because I want to know, sis. Because every time that I've ever done that, it's never worked out in my favor, okay? <laughs> or even if it does work out in your favor, you have to go through all this bull to get to that to that good end zone. Like, we don't want that. Just get, I want to go straight, smooth, smooth touchdown. That's what I want. I'm not good with, like, sports things. I don't know why I just made a, <laughs> a sports reference. I don't know. But that's, that's what came to mind. But like I said... Don't attack nobody. People just get defensive and they end up doing the exact opposite of <clears throat> what you were talking about anyway. So, you're doing too much. Don't do that. Overly emotional. 
Another sign that you are doing way entirely too much is when you are overly emotional about everything. Again, I tell you this, I'm not attacking nobody. Most of what I say comes from my own experience and things that I have done. I've definitely been that person that has done too much in all four of these things. Probably sometimes in the same relationship, okay, where I've done all four of these. Imagine somebody doing all, we're going to talk about all four of them, but imagine somebody doing all four of these things in one relationship. Like, that's a lot. I wouldn't want to be with me either. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, that's why I'm single now, but that's okay. We're learning. <laughs> and I'm here to teach you so y'all learn from my mistakes or we could talk about it, okay? We could work through this together. But when you are overly emotional about everything, let me drink some water. I'll be talking too much. I'll be making me thirsty. Um, but when you're overly emotional about everything, it's just like a lot. It's a lot for you and it's a lot for them. Like when somebody's just trying to be like playful, make jokes or suggestions on certain things and you become like extremely emotional and defensive about everything, you know, that's kind of, it's hard. It's hard to communicate with somebody and then that's one of the main things you're supposed to have, especially in relationships, you know? You're supposed to be able to communicate with people and if you can't communicate or the person feels like they can't communicate with you because they know that you're gonna get overly emotional about everything instead of like logically thinking, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. You get like blinded from all your emotions and you can't see, you know, what makes the most sense when you running and thinking on emotions nothing you do or say makes any sense <laughs> like right now i'm gonna tell you that and i i've literally most of my life i ran on just like all of my emotions at one time i'm trying to keep them under control okay we're still working on it because sometimes i am overly emotional about some things and overly sensitive is probably a better word being overly sensitive about some things and you know we're working on it okay Okay, um, but yeah, when, you, when you're like that, it's just, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> I know that. I know that I've, I've had a lot of challenges in my relationships from just being like overly emotional and overly sensitive. As a Scorpio, it's just, you know, we got a lot of feelings. <laughs> we got a lot of feelings and sometimes we keep a lot of our feelings to ourselves and they just like bottle up and they boil up and, it, and then, you know, they're just, it's just too much. It's too much for us. And if it's too much for us, imagine how much it is for them. Just vomiting your emotions all over the place all the time. It's just a lot. It's a lot and you're doing too much. You kind of need to meditate with yourself. Ooh, get zen, honey. Anything you need to do, smoke a blunt. I don't know what you need to do, but you, you need to calm it down, okay? Um, because you can't just run on emotions your whole life. Just as just as a functioning adult, you can't you can't do that. <laughs> Ow! When I'm recording, I have like ADHD and I can't stop moving. Kiss me. <laughs> Kiss myself. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So the third thing that you are doing entirely too much, a sign that you're doing entirely too much, is when you get too, how can I say this? You get too involved with the person that you're with and you end up losing track of your own self and your own life and your own things that you have going on where you like completely just cut off everything that is about you because you're all about them. Honey, I'm gonna tell you right now you're doing too much. You're doing too much, okay? And sometimes people do this, you know, and they don't really mean to do it. They just kind of get like too into it. And again, again, I know I've been here. I've been that person. I used to be that person or that friend that once I got into a relationship, like people wouldn't even hear from me no more. <laughs> like unless I had to see you for something or we work together, like you're not gonna hear from me. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't keep up with any kind of friend relationships, any kind of nothing, because I would just be so caught up in this person because I'm like so in love with them. Just vomiting my love all on top of them. And that, you know, it could be nice. I know usually the honeymoon stage is kind of like, kind of like that. Um, but you can't lose track of yourself. Uh, I know I've said in previous videos, like, the person is not responsible for your happiness. So when you're completely obsessed with this person and you give up everything in your life just to be surrounded and surround yourself with just that person, you, you lose track of who you are. And then God forbid that the relationship don't work out. Now you, you 
burned friendships. You don't, you don't have anything or anybody left because you put all of your life into that one person and now there's nothing left for you. You know what I'm saying? So even when you're with a person, you can still have your own life. That's okay. Okay, so and that's something that you're doing. If you know you start neglecting yourself, neglecting your relation, other relationships, your other friendships, your other responsibilities, or just things that you enjoy doing, just you, you're doing too much. <laughs> okay, you don't need to do all that. And then people usually get sick of that. Um, people don't want nobody to like sucking on them all the time, like a little leech. Like that's that's too much for them. Okay, two. So, you know, it, it doesn't work out for nobody, okay? <laughs> this doesn't work out for nobody. If we need to talk about it, we can talk about it. My DMs are always open. I'll be replying to all of y'all comments. I always reply to all, back to all of y'all. So if y'all need to talk about it, because, you know, something's happening right now in your life, let's talk about it, sis. I've been through it, okay? We can help each other, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, if you're doing that, you're doing too much, okay? And the fourth sign, the last sign that you are doing entirely too much. It kind of piggybacks off of the last one. The best way that I can explain it and the one thing that I've heard and that I've always kind of kept, because again, I'm one of those people who just like, I like showering people with my love. <laughs> and sometimes it's a lot. Is, you know, let's say a child. A small little baby child, cute little baby child, so cute, so precious, so innocent, you know? They just love unconditionally and they just love everything, okay? So let's say this cute little child, innocent child, got a puppy, okay? And the puppy's so cute and innocent, doesn't know anything, and they just want to love each other so much and so hard, and they just go for it, and they come together, and the kid just loves it so much, and he just hugs it and hugs it and hugs it, and the, then he smothers it, and the puppy's dead now. You, the kid killed it. Obviously, the kid is innocent. All it was doing was trying to show its love to the puppy. And it ended up, you know, loving it too hard and killed it. Moral of the story, don't smother anyone that much with your love. Because even though it's coming from a good place, it's coming from an innocent place, and you, you just want to show the person how much you love them, don't don't suffocate them with your love. Don't don't you can end up hurting. Not hurting. You can end up doing more damage than good when you just smother somebody so much with so much love and so much affection. Again, you you have to you have to have a happy medium. You have to be able to still do and be yourself and show love and share it with that person. You know what I'm saying? That's all that it is. You're just sharing yourself with another person. But you don't have to like change yourself completely or be completely just in one with that person. You just you share it with them and they share themselves with you. Okay. There's, um, I'll probably put a clip in it now so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't want to even have to explain it because she said it perfectly. Let me put it in right now. Just watch it. A relationship is a relationship that has to be earned, not to compromise for. I fall in love with myself. And I want someone to share it with me. So yeah, what she said was amazing to me. I just want to share myself with somebody, okay? So that's all that we're doing, you know? No compromising. You don't have to like completely compromise your life and they shouldn't have to completely compromise their life to be able to share each other with each other. It's a beautiful thing. Love can be a beautiful thing if we just stop doing entirely too much. So yes, guys, those are my four signs that you are doing too, too, too much. Huh. Sorry guys, I actually got a package, which is hilarious. I'm gonna show y'all what it is, cause I think it's so funny. Y'all know I don't like paying full price for stuff. I said it in my videos. I said it in my videos before. I love me discounts. I love free stuff. So, your girl got a Groupon. <laughs> for some wine <laughs> and um honey your girl just got a box of wine delivered yeah on her doorstep just a bunch of wine video is not sponsored <laughs> if you want to sponsor me you can um i'm kind of sad though 
Not gonna lie, kind of very, very, very sad because they sent the wrong one. This is not the wine that I got, that I ordered. Very kind of upset about it, but it's okay. It is still alcohol, it'll work. Hopefully it's good. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, I just thought that was funny and I wanted to share that with you guys. But yes, if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, turn on your post notifications. Y'all know that where, where I'ma see y'all, where I'ma see y'all, y'all already know. In the next video. Okay, love you, bye! I'ma go drink this wine now. Right now.